Tonight, nine teams enter, but only three are going to leave. Welcome to the Junkyard Joust, everybody. I'm Aaron Yonda. The Black Bandits, the Webmasters, and Sugar Crash all moved on last time. This time, we're going to get three round two winners, and they will advance on to the final match in the Battle of the Losers. And someone's going to come out of that battle a winner. Let's take a look at our teams. Fast Food was quickly eliminated in their qualifying match with Roller Toaster, Buns of Steel, Street Wiener, The Carbonator, and Wonder Bread Truck. So I lint green. They proved a little too green to win their qualifier with the Gallant Eterna in very bad shape, 1980 Corvette, Split Decision, Super Tuned, and 1965 Mustang. Yellow Hammer got fully hammered in their qualifier with the Pikes Peak Tacoma, the Dodge Viper GTSR. Firebird Funny Car, 16 Mercedes AMG, and the Nissan 300ZX. The Buggers got squashed in their qualifier with Minibus, VW T1 GTR, the Custom Beetle, the Tuned Bug, and the VW Bug. Quick and Querless were too quick and too querless for their own good. Featuring the 69 Camaro, the Skyline GTR, the 70 Monte Carlo, the 67 Custom Mustang, and of course, lots of numbers and letters. The Menominee Marauders were marauded out of town in their qualifier. This, of course, is a team of cars based off of actual cars I owned when I was younger or my friends owned, with the 67 Plymouth Belvedere painted just the way I painted it when I was a teenager. The Volkswagen Fastback. The Datsun 200SX. The Plymouth Reliant. And the 70 Camaro. The Supercar Destroyers proved that eliminating them in their qualifier was all too easy. With Millennium Falcon, Advanced TIE Fighter, TIE Fighter, Y-Wing Fighter, and the X-Wing Fighter. The Bubble Bursters, yep, you guessed it, they burst their own bubble in the qualifier. With Bubble Gunner, Bubble Matic, Beatnik Bandit, Split and Image 2, and Speed Seeker. Close Encounters got nowhere near success in their qualifier with Department of Water and Power, Radar Truck, Chemical Response Unit, Intergalactic Research, and Telephone Maintenance. Those are our nine teams. We're going to head out onto the track. The cars are going to go down in this order for this round, randomly determined. Upside down or sideways at the end of the round means you're out. Right side up, you're moving on to the next round until we've got three teams left. A chance for some of these teams to regain some glory after their losses in the qualifiers. Soylent Green started us off with Super Tuned. And now the Buggers are going to send down the VW T1 GTR. The Bugger slams into the back of Super Tuned and stays on the track. He's going to be followed down by Skyline GTR for Quick and Querulous. The Skyline GTR gives him a good hit. The Super Tuned is the first car to be pushed off the track but he makes a pretty good recovery and he's right side up for the moment, not completely out of danger yet. Intergalactic Research now for Close Encounters. Intergalactic Research sends Super Tune skidding across the ground. Super Tune stays right side up and it looks like that Skyline could be in danger right here. Depends on what the Nissan 300 gets up to for a yellow hammer. The Nissan puts Intergalactic off the track, our first likely elimination. Intergalactic sideways now, and the Skyline back locked on the track. And here comes a bucket of bolts for the Supercar Destroyers. The Falcon almost takes out the Nissan, but the Nissan makes a great recovery right there and lands it upright. Now the Falcon is prone on the track, and I'm not seeing any asteroid fields around here that he's going to be able to hide in. Splitting Image 2, the first car up for the Bubble Bursters. Splitting Image annihilates Millennium Falcon. He is upside down, far off the track. Going to need a tractor beam to get him back right side up again. I don't think it's going to happen. And now the Skyline and Splitting Image are both in trouble. Plymouth Reliant's going to take a pop. The Reliant clocks both the cars off the track and does a complete reversal, turned around facing the other direction. Interesting strategy there. It looks like the Skyline might be out of this. And now Fast Food's going to send down the Wiener. Street Wiener gives a little push to the Reliant, but nobody's going anywhere. Let's see if Split Decision has something to say about that. Split Decision plows into the Wiener, and now he's pushing him up on the track as well as the Plymouth. Split Decision also curbside. Custom Beetle for the Buggers. 
Custom Beetle Smack Split Decision off the track. He makes a great recovery though and doesn't go anywhere. And now the Plymouth Reliant is in danger up in the air, but still on the track. This is gonna be an interesting next hit from the 67 Custom Mustang. The Mustang pushes the wiener off the track, but he gets right side up again. And you still got that Reliant pointed at the sky. Department of Water and Powers next. A nice hit from Department, and he puts that Mustang up in the air, upside down on the track. The Reliant is still there, the Custom Beetle is still there. Something's gotta break this lockdown on the track. Maybe it'll be the Pike's Peak Tacoma for Yellow Hammer. Pike's Peak Tacoma finally gets the Reliant to topple. It's almost right side up, but it's pretty perilous right there. Next up is the Advanced TIE Fighter. Advanced TIE Fighter topples the Pike's Peak Tacoma. Upside down on the left of the track, he's probably out. And now the Advanced TIE Fighter is curbside. Beatnik Bandit now for the Bursters. Beatnik Bandit succeeds in pushing the Mustang off the track, he's sideways. Not a whole lot else happens on that run. The Datsun 200SX gonna take to the track now for the Marauders. The Datsun gets a good hit on the Beatnik Bandit, pushes Advanced TIE Fighter off the track, but does not manage to inflict any casualties. Funds of Steel for the food. Funds of Steel tries to create a burger out of the Beatnik Bandit, but he doesn't manage to do it. Beatnik escapes off the side. Now the Corvette for Soylent Green. The Corvette gets a good hit on Buns of Steel, but nothing's going on there. Locked on the track, and we're backing down to about halfway down the track right now. Mini Bus is next for the Buggers. Mini Bus, a good hit, and knocks Buns of Steel off. Cannot get that Corvette under the Datsun. And the 70 Monte Carlo is going to take a crack at it. Monte Carlo, a good hit, but look what happens. Nobody affected except for the Monte Carlo, which is now upside down. Not a good result. Quick and Querless not showing a whole lot of success here so far in this match. Looks like all three of their entrants so far are upside down. Chemical Response Unit could turn it back upside again. Let's see what happens. No luck there. The Chemical Response Unit starts to drive over the top of that Monte Carlo. A little bit more pushing down the track. And the 16 Mercedes AMG is going to take to the track now. The Mercedes punches the chemical response unit off the track. Chemical response sideways, and now he is slotted in nicely. Still got an upside down Monte Carlo there. Now the Y-Wing fighter for the supercar destroyers. Y-Wing fighter pushes that Mercedes up a little bit. Got his rear up in the air, and that's not a good position to be in. Y-Wing might be in trouble here too, a little bit curbside. Speed Seeker's up now. Speed Seeker just annihilates a batch of cars. Sends that Mercedes upside down. The Y-Wing makes a good recovery, and look at this. The Monte Carlo is perched upside down on top of Speed Seeker. That car just doesn't want to get off the track. I think the 70 Camaro is probably going to end it, though. The Camaro does indeed do that. The Monte Carlo cannot make a recovery. Pushes him upside down and now slots in nicely. The Carbonator's up for fast food. The Carbonator slams into the back of the Camaro and now Speed Seeker is sideways. Carbonator did a great job of causing a lot of stuff to happen farther down the track. Loosened it up a lot. Next up is the 1965 Mustang. The Mustang smacks into Carbonator and he is annihilated upside down. Heavy hit there. And Carbonator pays for not being locked onto the track, being back a little farther by himself. Tuned bug for the buggers. Tuned bug, an utterly pointless hit. Flips right over the back of the Mustang and is done. Utterly useless and not a very good car for this event. But you know, some of these teams are just here to have some fun and that is one thing that the buggers are doing. 69 Camaro. 69 Camaro, a good hit, but there is a solid line of cars now and it's hard to get anything going. He's nice and locked into the track. Next up is the radar truck for Close Encounters. Radar Truck manages to push off the other Camaro farther down the line, and uh, now he's nice and locked onto the track. The Dodge Viper GTS is up now. Dodge Viper slams into Radar Truck, and that Camaro is just slapped. 
off the track, upside down. Another probable loss for Quick and Querless. Man, it's not looking good for them right now. Here comes the X-Wing Fighter. X-Wing Fighter tries to get under the Dodge Viper, cannot do it. There's a little pushing, but that's about all he can manage. And now the Bubble Matic is up. Get ready for bubbles. Bubble Bursters must have one of those big bubble machines. They also must have a decent budget for their team to be able to afford something like that. Now up to 67, Plymouth Belvedere for the Marauders. The Plymouth Belvedere pushes the X-Wing Fighter off the track and locks it in. Next up for fast food, it's the Wonder Bread truck. Get ready for some white bread. Wonder Bread goes flying off the back of the Plymouth, topples and cannot make a recovery. He's sideways and Bubble Matic and the Plymouth are vulnerable right here. Galant to turn us up next. This car has seen better days, but don't be fooled. It is still a menace. The Eterna just annihilates the Plymouth, knocks it off the track upside down. That's a heavy car too. The car may be beat up, but it still packs a punch. Speaking of punching, Slugbug Red. VW Bug tries to get underneath that Eterna, but can't quite make it. Still, that was a good hit, and uh, the Eterna could be in trouble. Now up is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. The Porsche pushes the Gallant and the Bug off the track. That could be a tough position for the Bug. Telephone Maintenance is up next. Telephone Maintenance, a huge hit. And somehow his arm got put back in position on his way down. But look at those cars fly. Mustang was flying up in the air, but it looks like he was the only casualty of that big hit. The bug managed to survive and a lot of movement. Now up for Yellow Hammer, it's the Firebird Funny Car, 65 grams. Firebird Funny Car just assassinates telephone maintenance. That's a huge truck. And the funny car just goes right under him, sends him up in the air and sideways. Now he could recover from that, but it's going to be difficult. Here comes a TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter plows underneath telephone maintenance. He just gets more upside down. His arm is not doing him any favors right here. Here comes Bubble Gunner. Bubble Gunner goes right under that TIE Fighter, almost sends him all the way back to the Death Star. He went so high, all the way over telephone maintenance, and it uh, doesn't look good for TIE Fighter right now. Here comes the Fastback. Fastback gets a good hit on the back of Bubble Gunner, and there's a little movement on the field. Roller Toaster's up next. Roller Toaster, I guess I should say. Roller Toaster hits the back of the Fastback and pushes him forward, but he bounces back fairly fast. And that was the final car of round one. Look at the wreckage caused on this round. 21 out of 45 cars eliminated. That's nearly half. Quick and Querulous completely eliminated in round one of this contest. Soylent Green only lost one. Buggers lost two. Close Encounters lost three. And Yellow Hammer lost two. And over here, every team on this list only lost two cars. So really the big story of round one, Quick and Querless out of the match. And here comes Soylent Green, who just lost one and are doing pretty good for themselves right about now. Bubble Bursters gonna send down Bubble Gunner. There are eight teams remaining. We're going until there's three left. Bubble Gunner slides underneath the Corvette and the Corvette makes a great recovery. Almost topples backwards, but manages to land it. Now it's the Dotson for Menominee Marauders. Dotson knocks Bubble Gunner off the track. Bubble Gunner, great landing and is totally safe over there. And now the Dotson is curbside. Dodge Viper is gonna take a shot. The Viper really did take a shot there. The Datsun is upside down and done. Corvette is safe next to the track, and now the Viper is in place. Buns of Steel, gonna take some steel to those buns. Buns of Steel, a great hit. It didn't end well for him, but he totally took out the Viper, and now Buns of Steel is perched awkwardly at the end of the track. X-Wing Fighter. X-Wing Fighter finishes off Buns of Steel and sits up at the front. Minibus for the buggers. Minibus headbutts the X-Wing Fighter, bounces him off the crates, and X-Wing Fighter says, nope, I'm just coming right back on. You didn't do anything to me. So a great hit, but it didn't actually do anything. Radar Truck is up next. 
Radar truck smashes that minibus, and X-Wing fighter goes flying off the track. Minibus is now curbside. I don't think it's gonna end well for that minibus. Split decision for Soylent Green. Split decision with a decisive hit, and yep, minibus flops over sideways. It's not quite over yet, but it's pretty hard to recover from where minibus is right now. Split in image two. Split an image bunts split decision off the track. He is right side up though and is looking pretty good for survival. Here comes the fastback. Fastback takes a shot at split an image and turns around sideways. Not a good position to be in for either of those cars, but I'd say the fastback has a lesser chance of surviving the next hit, which is gonna be from the Nissan. The Nissan massacres the fastback upside down off the track. Split image survives, as I sort of suspected would happen. Street Wiener. Street Wiener hits that Nissan who was curbside, and the Nissan is stable and a little bit off the edge of the track. The Y Wing Fighter. Y-Wing Fighter plants a solid kiss on that Wiener, but can't get much more than that. Here comes the bug. The VW Bug makes the Y-Wing Fighter perched sideways on the track. Not a good position for him, especially since there's a heavy hit 65 grams of water and power coming your way. Water and power, oh no! Goes right off the back of the VW Bug and flips upside down. Not so good of a hit after all. He just flew straight off the curved back of that bug and now he's done probably. Here comes the Galanti Turna. The Gallant takes a big hit to the Wiener and knocks him off the track. He's sideways, there's still a chance of recovery there, but that was a good hit. The Gallant is now curbside. Beatnik Bandit for the Bubble Bursters. The Bandit finishes off the Wiener. There's no way that he's getting out of there now. And the Gallant is still stuck in place. 70 Camaro. The 70 Camaro almost gets under the Bandit. Can't quite do it. But the Camaro's locked into the track. Firebird, funny for the hammer. Ooh, a good hit there on the Camaro. He is tossed off and upside down. The Firebird, not a funny car at all, really. Especially when he's coming up behind you. Time for the roller toaster. Ooh, the roller toaster burns his own toast, flips sideways after he plows into the funny car. And he could recover from that, but it's, uh, it's gonna be rough going. Advanced TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter actually makes the roller toaster recover. He's still perilous right there, but there is a good chance that he's gonna recover from that. Breakfast is saved. Here comes the VW T1 GTR. This is a solid car, a good hit, but this car is good at staying on the track. It's got fairly low bumpers and it doesn't like to move around a lot. Super Tune's gonna take a shot at that VW. Super Tune cannot move him. Oh, and the funny car knocked right off the track upside down. And that was the final car of round two. Let's take a look at the aftermath. 10 more cars eliminated in that round, but none of them Soylent Greens. The buggers are down to two, Close Encounters and Yellow Hammer both at one. And the big news, the Marauders and Fast Food both out of the competition. Bubble Bursters and Supercar Destroyers didn't lose a single car this round. Soylent Green are gonna start us off again with Split Decision. Yellow Hammer and Close Encounters are both in deep trouble here. They just have one car apiece. That car gets eliminated, they're out of this match. We've got six teams left. So if we continue to see the kind of carnage we have been seeing, I don't know how much longer this match is gonna go. Y-Wing Fighter puts Split Decision off the track and Split Decision makes a great recovery. Bubble Bursters, who didn't lose a single car last round, are gonna send down the Bandit. The Bandit slams into the back of Y-Wing and can't get any action, so the VW Bug's gonna take a shot. VW Bug manages to pinch him a little bit, but can't get them off, and now VW Bug is curbside. That is a very tender position. The Nissan from Yellow Hammer is gonna take a shot at the back of that Bug. Nissan boots him off the track. The bug can't roll it over, and that is probably going to end up being a loss for the buggers. Yellow Hammer hanging on with just that one car. Here comes Close Encounters' last remaining vehicle, the radar truck. 
Radar truck is curbside. Doesn't get a whole lot going on, except Bandit might be in a little bit of trouble right there. Super tuned is gonna cause some trouble. Super tuned almost managed to get Radar truck off the track, but now there's just a little bit of a pileup going on with pretty much all the cars. Advanced TIE Fighter is ready for action. And just like that, Advanced TIE Fighter ends the transmissions of Radar Truck and his entire team. Looks like we're down to about five teams now. Bubble Gunner's gonna try to cause some trouble. Trouble Bubble. Bubble Gunner does indeed cause a lot of trouble, and it's mostly for the Supercar Destroyers. Wide Wing wiped out, and the Advanced TIE Fighter is not looking good there on the track. Good hit. VW T1 GTR. The VW pushes, but can't make a lot happen. However, the Nissan up front is looking a little iffy right now. If he's lucky, he won't fall off and go sideways or upside down. Here comes the Eterna. Big hit on the VW, and the Advanced TIE Fighter is upside down. This is a crushing blow to the Supercar Destroyers team. They're just gonna have one car left if both those cars stay upside down. Speaking of Supercar Destroyers, here comes the X-Wing Fighter. X-Wing Fighter has a solid hit, a little push, and there's a solid line of cars right there. Nobody's going anywhere at the moment, but something could break. Let's see if Splitting Image 2 can make something happen. Splitting Image takes the X-Wing Fighter right off the track, and he makes a great recovery. Saves the Supercar Destroyers from being eliminated this round. And now Splitting Image is curbside. 1980 Corvette. The Corvette sends Split and Image tumbling off the track, and it looks like the Nissan is fine up front. And it looks like we're going to lose four cars and one team this round. We're going on to round four. Soylent Green still at four. Buggers and Yellow Hammer both at one. Supercar is down to one, and the Bubble Bursters are still at three. Soylent Green's gonna start us off again, this time with the Gallant Eterna. No one has been able to get a piece of this team if they perform this well in their qualifier. If they had, they certainly wouldn't be doing the Battle of the Losers right now. The Gallant takes a place on the track, and the Bursters decide to send down the Bandit. The Bandit slams into the back of the Eterna, cannot do anything a little too light to be too effective. And the Nissan, been the only surviving car for Yellow Hammer now for a couple rounds, gonna take a shot. Nissan, a big hit, but a lot of bouncing back and nobody is getting off that track. They all wanna stay right where they are, but now they're all backed up. X-Wing Fighter's got an opportunity here to cause some trouble. The X-Wing Fighter still cannot do anything, just pushes everybody up and they are all locked into the track now up at the front. There's gonna be some action here. BW T1 GTR is gonna see what he can do. Ooh, X-Wing Fighter takes evasive action and just jettisons himself all the way off the track and into safety. That's gonna maintain the Supercar Destroyers for another round. That was a great recovery. Super Tuned. Super Tuned tries desperately to make something happen, but they're all locked in so tightly that there's nothing going on right now. Maybe Split and Image will be able to change that. Split and Image almost gets under Super Tune, and the V1 now is in peril. The final car for the buggers. We've got three cars left in this round. Nobody eliminated yet. Corvette's gonna take a stab. The Corvette gets a little bit of action. Split and Image moved off the track. The VW is very close to being off the track. Still no eliminations. Bubble Gunner's got undercutting ability. I think that we're gonna see some action for sure now. Maybe some eliminations. Bubble Gunner does exactly that. There are two cars that are looking out right now. The Corvette and that VW. And that, my friends, is the end for the Buggers. And here comes the final car of the round. It's Split Decision. Split Decision, a huge hit right there. And he's going to add to the elimination tally because Super Tuned is upside down. Bubble Gunner barely surviving. It looks like there are still four teams left. So we are going to go on to round five. Soylent Green lost a chunk right there. Two cars eliminated. Yellow Hammer still in it. Buggers are out. Bubble Burster still have three. Now have more cars in this match than anyone else. And Supercar Destroyers still have the one. 
So the Bursters are going to start us out this round. And they're going to start with Split and Image 2. The Bursters are looking pretty good right now with three cars left. Seems likely that they're going to make it out of this particular competition, but you never know. I mean, look at Soylent Green. They had four left last round. They only have two left now, and anything could happen. It's entirely possible they won't make it through this round as Split Decision slams into the back of Splitting Image. A lot of splitting going on around here. X-Wing Fighter for the Supercar Destroyers. He's got to make it through this round. X-Wing Fighter gets a good hit and makes both of the split cars kind of do the splits. Split and Image is off the track and Split Decision underneath X-Wing Fighter. He's trying to bury himself for safety. Here comes the Nissan 300ZX. The Nissan, a massive hit! And that is gonna toast the X-Wing Fighter. I don't see how he's gonna be able to come back from that. That could definitely end this match. But if Bubble Gunner takes out the final yellow hammer car, then you're gonna have two teams eliminated this round. Oh, and he's not gonna do it. It looks like the Nissan is gonna be safe right there. Bubble Gunner couldn't take him out. Great recovery. And that might just be what was needed for yellow hammer to make it into the final match in the Battle of the Losers. Now the Galant Eterna is gonna take a shot on the Bubble Gunner. Ooh, the Eterna pops the Bubble Gunner. Bubble Gunner sideways on the track. That was a nasty little hit. Beatnik Bandit is the final car of this match. And the Bandit can't get anything going, and that is gonna do it, folks. We've got three teams left. Supercar Destroyers eliminated, and Bubble Gunner back on his feet. So that is the only car eliminated this round, and you've got your three teams who are gonna move on to the final Battle of the Losers. So the Bubble Burster, Soylent Green, and Yellow Hammer will join the Black Bandits, Webmasters, and Sugar Crash in what is sure to be a great spectacle. Whichever one of these teams is the final remaining team of that match gets to compete in Season 3 of Junkyard Joust, which, by the way, is coming soon. If you want to have a car sponsorship in Season 3, now's your chance to become a patron and make that happen. I hope you enjoyed the improved slow motion in this video because I just got a brand new camera and I am really loving how it looks. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the final of the Battle of the Losers. Out of all six of these teams, who do you think is going to win? Leave a comment and let me know. I've got an ongoing bet with Will Goddamn Ramos, who thinks that the Black Bandits are going to win. And if they don't, he'll donate 100 bucks to the production of the show. If they do win, one of the cars next season is going to be called either Will Bill or the Willinator.